Everybody, so glad you could join me today. My name's Boris. It's the start of another week. It's Monday, and I'm I'm still at home. What about you? Staying safe, staying healthy. We're getting ready to go racing this week at Darlington, though. We have a select number of people at the shop, staying spread apart, working on race cars, doing it the the right way. We're going racing this weekend at Darlington. Back to it. We've had a fun time racing virtually here in NASCAR, but we're gonna get back to the real thing this week. But I tell you what, that doesn't mean we can't stop, you know, can't keep drawing, right? We got to keep drawing. So I think, uh, I think that we'll keep this show going for at least another week. What do you say? Here every weekday at noon Eastern time, right here on the Joe Gibbs Racing Channels, I teach you how to draw race cars and race car parts and things related to race cars. And today we're drawing Brandon Jones's Supra, his Menard Supra from the Xfinity series. That's right, number 19, that bright day glow yellow. Menards Supra that Brandon Jones races for us in the Xfinity Series. This has been highly requested since we started this show, and we're finally doing it today. So get your pen and paper ready, maybe a pencil, maybe color pencils, maybe you have an iPad or some other tablet like that. Whatever you're going to draw with, let's jump right in. It's time to go. All right, let me start a new paper here, and let's get rolling. By the way, in case you couldn't tell, I work for Joe Gibbs Racing. Yes, my name is Boris, and I'm so glad to have you here today. The start of another beautiful day, another beautiful week, and some more beautiful drawings are on the way. If you've missed any of our episodes, check out YouTube. Just search for Boris Draws Race Cars or the Joe Gibbs Racing channel. And I want you to start with a line just like that. All right? We're drawing a side view of Brandon Jones' Supra today. It's a Menards Supra. A lot of great home supplies at Menards, especially if you're out in the Midwest or the West. Beautiful spot to shop. Great place to get what you need. I have some friends in Minnesota. They love Menards. They get all their, their, all their needs for the, for the farm and their house right there at Menards. So, uh, Shout out to Lyle and Pam. Those are my friends out there that do that. Who else is in Minnesota? Anybody? Where are you watching from? Because I'm in North Carolina. And it's a beautiful day here. What's it like where you live? All right, you ready? Let's draw a line up like that and a line up in the back. And then we're going to connect them like so. We're just making a, we're just making a rectangle. And as you can see, I'm just being sketchy and light here with these lines. Don't worry about being perfect. We're just marking our boundaries, marking our territory for where we're going to put that race car. So it's coming together pretty nicely, I think. All right, side view of this NASCAR race car coming together. Next, we need a roof. And just like a house, we have an angle to our roof, but it doesn't come to a point. No, it's going to be flattened off. So we're just going to draw a front part of the roof, which is going to turn into the windshield like that. And a rear, just about the same way. Make the front of the car a little longer than the rear though. A lot of room for that engine needed up there. And then you flatten them out like so. Very nice, very nice. How about that? Looking good? All right, next, let's add some wheel wells. Wheel wells an upside down U like this. Oh yeah, one in the front, and of course, one at the back. Now on this show we've drawn winning race cars, and wrecked race cars, and upside down race cars, and the fronts of race cars, and the backs, and the rears, and the, the tops, and the side, and the angles, and the helmets, and the gloves. We've drawn just about everything on this show, so if you need to freshen up, figure out how to do this a little more quickly, go through and watch some of our other episodes. And while you're catching up on your wheel wells there, I'm going to read some of these comments because it's one of my favorite parts is knowing who's out there drawing with me. Thank you for watching. John, Devin's back. There's Daniel and Danny, Marlene in North Carolina. Jack's out there. What's up, Jack? Thanks for watching again. Matthew says hello. Suzanne's watching. Hi, Suzanne. All sorts of fun people watching today. Having fun drawing some race cars. I'm going to show you just how brightly colored Brandon Jones's race car is. I'm going to send this to him when I'm done. I'm going to see what he thinks of the drawing here. 
So let's raise the, the rear a little bit here, get the bumper off the ground and add a bumper back here for Brandon Jones. Brandon has a lot of competition in that Xfinity series. You don't want his teammate like Harrison Burton coming up, giving him a bump. He's got to be able to hold on to it. That's why we put a bumper on these race cars. The front of the car, we're going to angle a bit like this. We're going to trim off some of that blockiness and we're going to angle it. And I'm even going to extend the nose out just a little bit like that. What's cool about this is if you can't erase these lines, well, guess what? There's actually lines right about there on our race car because we have to, we have to, it's not welding, but it's connecting the nose to the body and the rear tail to the body. So that's all right. If you can't erase, that's okay. I can't erase, so I'm going to. Here's a little tip for you. If you want to start drawing with a pencil and eraser first before you start drawing with any colored you know, utensils, that is, uh, that is a smart thing to do because you can use the eraser on a pencil. And it just gives you a, an underdrawing, a sketch, that you can then go over with marker or colored pencil or crown or something like that. Okay? Oh, I like how this is looking already. I can't wait for the color on this car. This is one of my favorite color race cars in the whole track, the Menards Supra of Mr. Brandon Jones. Let's put a little spoiler on there, right there, a little spoiler alert. All right, see that? Just did a little rounded rectangle up there, and that helps Brandon Jones stay stuck to the track so he can keep going really fast around those turns. Very nice, very nice. Next on our roof, we need to draw some windows, right? So we draw a little mini roof in there. Just draw the same roof you did before, but draw a little smaller right in that space. Now in the back, though, I'm going to angle it up like that. Look at that. Kind of did something weird there. That's how the Supra window looks. And then cut it in half like that. Just a little trim right there. I'm going to fill that post in with black. There you go. Good looking super right there. All right. Hmm. Well, Brandon's car is looking pretty good. I like it. How's yours looking? All right. Now we're going to draw some wheels. If you never watched before, I'm going to show you how to draw those wheels. I know my friends like Devin and Jack and Daniel, I know they know how to do this. They've been watching, but I'm going to show you again. You do a dot up there, a dot on the right a dot on the bottom and a dot on the left and then you just connect the dots so the bottom goes to the left with a curve kind of a banana shape the left to the top the top to the right and the right to the bottom and like so you end up with a circle almost perfect if you like freehand you can just do it freehand like me over here Got has a lot of practice, a lot of uh, patience to figure out freehand circles, but you can do it if you give yourself some time. Practice will really help you there. I even like to make it a little sketchy to make it look like the wheel's spinning. See that? We can just even sketch in a wheel in there. The beautiful part about drawing race cars is they go so fast that even if your lines are a little bit off, a little bit sketchy, a little bit wobbly and jagged, that's all right. It just makes it look like the race car is going faster. You know what I mean? All right. Look at that thing. I like it. I like it. I like it. Put a fuel fill right here. And a headlight at the front. Like that. Let me show you my headlight. That's how I did it. Kind of a half of a heart shape. And then the Fuel is just a dot at the end there. All right. That is feeling good. I'm feeling good about this one. Good way to start a Monday with an easy drawing. One that, one that we've done before, but just gets us in the zone for a good week coming ahead, right? Good to practice up. All right. I got a special surprise drawn for the end of this, though. We turn our race cars into a story, so we're going we're gonna to do that today. We're just starting with what we know, the race car. Next, the number. I know a lot of you know how to do this, but what you do is you draw a box. Just draw it lightly. In fact, I'm going to angle it a little bit. Instead of a straight up and down box, I'm going to do a bit of an angled box. See that? How they're kind of at an angle? 
and then I'm going to draw a straight line at the bottom and top. Okay. This is where we're going to put our car number. And since Brandon Jones's car number is 19, like my hat, it's Martin Truex is too, but in the Xfinity series it's Brandon Jones, we're going to divide it in half with a one size shape at the front, which means it's not perfectly in half. It's a little skinnier at the front, a little wider at the, the right. Got it? There's our one. Next, you just fill in for a nine. So there's a dot up here for the nine. And a dot down here. And then you just connect that dot over there to make the bottom of the nine. See that? And just like that, we have a big, bold NASCAR style number 19 for Brandon Jones's car. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh yeah. All right. I'm going to thicken up those lines a little bit. And then I'm going to round off the 9 a little bit so that there aren't all these jagged sharp edges on the 9. That's not how his 9 looks. That does look like a very cool 9 though. But that's just not how Brandon has his designed. I'm going to look at a quick picture of Brandon's car while you're finishing up your number. Timothy's out there watching. What's up, Timothy? Chad and Race are watching. Some other longtime viewers here. Thank you, Chad and Race, for watching. Susan in Montana's back. Oh, Daniel wants to draw a Ty Gibbs car. All right, all right. I want to do a Ty Gibbs car as well. Let's see. Who else is out here watching? Oh, yeah, a lot of people. Thanks for all the tweets and retweets if you're watching on Twitter. I really appreciate that. Really cool. I'm just looking at some pictures of Brandon Jones's race car here. Just show, seeing what we got going on. All right, it's almost time to color, but first I'm gonna write that Menards word in there. Do you know how to spell Menards? Okay, so it's like this. M, E, N, A, R, D, apostrophe S. Menards. Hopefully I got that right. Sometimes you have to double check your spelling. Yes, I got it. I got it right. Okay. Now the Menards word is in white. You can do it in whatever color is easiest for you. It might be easier just to do it in black today, and that's okay. They'll, they'll forgive you for that. But if you want to get even uh, more complicated here, if you're, feeling, if you're feeling brave, you can draw some block letters for Menards and kind of make it look like the real logo. I'm going to show you what that looks like, okay? So it's something like this. You just draw block letters like that and you leave it on the white the white space inside the E is just a square you can actually do them all in squares so then N is a square I'm gonna zoom in for you so you can see this look how that square turns into an N you see how the M could also fit into a square and you just draw some black lines there the A can also be a square like this an easy way to write block letters is just to make some squares. And then the R, well that can fit into a square too, so just draw a square again. Draw a line down there, like that. See that? The D very easily fits into a square. Just trim off the edges and put a dot in there. And the S does the same thing. See that? I'll just walk through them again here. So the M is a square that with a line at the top and two lines at the bottom. The E is a square with two lines at the right. The N has a line at the bottom left and the top right. The A is one line in the middle and a dot, kind of like the letter I in the middle of that square. The R is the same thing with a little other line over here on the right, just like the A. Then the D, you shave off the right edges, put a dot in the middle. And the S, you just make a line at the bottom and the right. And then you have something that really looks like the Menards logo right there. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. But I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to put that up on my car. Look at that. Nice fit right there. Nice look on Brandon Jones's car there. How's yours coming along? We're going to leave the inside of that logo white as we start to work towards coloring in our Brandon Jones Supra race car. Oh yeah. Looking good. I like that car. All right, let's put a window net in there. 
Window net is just some lines going up. And then some lines going over. Just like that. And then a circle in the window here and a circle in the window there. All right. Next, let's add a little dot in the middle of our wheels. That'll give us a point where that axle is, right in the middle, helps the wheel spin. And then I'm gonna draw some swooshes in there just to make it look like it's spinning at 190 miles an hour. Really cool. All right. Next, Brandon Jones's car has some swooshes in it. Can you believe that? They put some swooshes. So I want you to start at the middle of the back of the nine right here and just do an arch up like this. Okay? And have it come down here too. We're going to have to do two more of those lines, okay? So do another arch like that. It's almost like a rainbow if you're drawing a rainbow. And then one more arch like this. So that's three arch lines in total. See that? One, two, three. Take your time on those. They don't have to be perfect. On the car, they're kind of like brush strokes, so they're a little bit jagged. Don't worry if yours is a little rough. That's okay. And then if you want to, you can fill in the bottom in a black or a very dark gray. I'm going to go with black right here. And I always tell everybody that if it takes you a long time to fill in, then just save that for the end, because I know that that can take a long time with colored pencils and crayons and all sorts of things. So I'm filling in, but if you need to save it for the end, you go ahead and do that. All right. Well, it's time to color, but first we're going to finish our special surprise part of this drawing, okay? So Brandon Jones, he's, he's racing down the track. I'm going to draw a little line here to indicate a track. See that? Just a line. That's like our ground line. He's on a road course. And the TV channel, the TV network that's broadcasting the race, has sent the Goodyear blimp out in order to film from up top. Have you ever seen that view where the camera's filming down? So I want to draw the Goodyear blimp, and I want to draw a helicopter in the sky because they're filming Brandon Jones as he's leading at this road course. I'm going to say he's at, um, he's at Road America in Wisconsin, okay? So up here in the, the sky, we're going to draw a blimp. The blimp is kind of shaped like an eye or it's shaped like a, um, an almond, you know, an almond nut that you would eat. So what you do is I want you to draw a shape kind of like this to start. Kind of like this. It's like a smiley face. See that? There you go. And then draw the exact same shape again except up top now. Like an upside down smiley face. So see how it's kind of like an eyeball, not really a ball, but your eye, or an almond, or a little flying saucer. There you go. We're drawing the Goodyear blimp off in the distance. Kind of looks like a football too, doesn't it? Okay. Next, I want you to draw a little line that's rounded up here for the nose and one for the tail back here. Boy, it looks even more like a football now, doesn't it? But it's not. This is the Goodyear blimp we're drawing. Okay, next give it some tail fins like this. They're just a triangle at the back and on the top like that. And you can do a line on the side too. There you go. And then add a little carriage at the bottom. And that's where the people sit. So, of course, a blimp is kind of like a big balloon filled with gases and whatnot and makes it float. And I just draw a little carriage here with some little windows so people can see it. And there's there's also a camera coming down there that you probably can't see, but it's there. It's filming the race cars going around the track. The Goodyear blimp has a stripe, I believe, that goes about like that. So I'm going to draw that on there. We'll color that in later. Look at that. Just like that, you got a blimp filming. I'm also going to do a cloud in the sky. So a cloud is going to go something like this. Flat bottom. 
and then just some some half circles up here like this and you can really put them wherever you want you know clouds pretty much can look like anything when I was little my mom and I would look up at the clouds and we would uh, we'd see what what shapes we could find in the clouds so there you go there's one cloud now how about a helicopter what do you say we're gonna do a simple helicopter helicopter is gonna be smaller than the blimp and it's gonna be over here and I'm just gonna draw a dot like this or an oval, kind of like that. See that helicopter? Give it a little nose and a window, but something like that. We zoom in and then draw a tail like this and a little fin. So we've got a helicopter off in the distance now. But what does a helicopter have? That's right, it has a little rotary blade and that's not little actually it's big I want to stay away from them but all you have to do is draw either a line like this or you can actually draw a little bit of an oval around it like that just some more swooshes to make it look like it's flying and spinning and then little landing skids here for it and at the back do a circle line like that a line circle and now you've got a helicopter. All sorts of things flying in the air during a race, helping you see the race. So the cool thing about drawing is that you can turn your picture into any story you want. And today we're telling the story of Brandon Jones racing through the road course at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, on a beautiful day with one cloud in the sky and the Goodyear blimp and a helicopter from, uh, from the TV networks filming so that we can see them on our TVs. All right? Pretty awesome. I'll draw another piece of road down here for the track. Just swooshing by like that. And now it's time to color. Are you ready to color? Well, here's what we need to do. You need to pick the brightest yellow you can find. And if you have a highlighter, a yellow highlighter, that would be the perfect color for Brandon Jones's Menards Supra. Okay? So if you don't, just pick a yellow and that'll be fine. But if you have a highlighter, I would suggest you use that. All right, is that a deal? And remember, if you if you need to find one, or maybe you can pick one up somewhere, just save the coloring in for later and fill in the yellow part later. But I'm going to start now, and I'm going to leave the uh, the number alone there, so I can color that in a different color. But man, oh man, I want you to fill in this highlighter color, and it is going to look so good. That Menards Supra racing down the track. Brandon Jones had a great season last season, looking strong already this season. Once we get back to racing, he's getting get back to racing too soon. It's not just the Cup Series, Xfinity's going back. There we go. Leaving that Menards name white. Filling in Brandon Jones' car here with Day Glow. All right. Next, we're going to do a bright orange line. There we go. And a bright red line. There we go. Oh yeah, looking good. Menards has been in racing for so long. They do such a great job. And uh, they have been in IndyCar and NASCAR for so long. And they always have these super bright race cars that stand out on the track. And they win a lot. So you know, uh, you know when that Menards car is coming up. All right, and the number we're going to fill in in red as well. At number 19. Oh yeah, looking good. I wonder if Brandon Jones is out there watching this. I wonder how good of a job he could draw this. What do you think? Maybe you should, maybe you should tweet him. Let me see if anybody's out there commenting. Oh, drop my pencil. All right. Brandon Jones is a good guy. He loves uh, outdoors stuff. Loves shopping at Menards. Let's see who's watching out there. Anybody? How's your car coming along? 
I really like the looks of this car. I might frame this one. This is a pretty one for the wall. Oh, yeah, a lot of people watching. Thanks for all the hearts and retweets out there. If you're on YouTube, I appreciate the comments. If you're on Facebook, I appreciate the comments. And I appreciate y'all sharing this with your friends. The more drawers, the merrier, right? The more people we can get drawn, the more cool pictures we get to see. That's what I, that's what I say. It's not really a competition. It's about having fun and expressing yourself with a cool drawing. All right. Shane asks what app I'm using. This is the Procreate, P-R-O-C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, Procreate app. All right, Jack is loving this one. I bet Jack likes the bright colors. There's Race and Chad. They're liking it. Devin wants to draw a Christopher Bell car. I think we can do that. We did also draw the Christopher Bell car uh, from last year. Go check that one out if you missed it. All right, the Goodyear blimp I'm going to fill in in gray. But the line's going to be dark blue, which is kind of their Goodyear color. They also have some yellow in there. So I'm going to get that dark blue. I'm going to fill it in there. That is not dark blue. Not at all. All right. Fill the fins in. I'm going to leave the helicopter black, but I am going to put some yellow in that Goodyear blimp because that is a trademark Goodyear color, is that yellow. So make sure you put that in there. All right. Very cool. Keep the cloud white. We don't need rain clouds in this picture. We don't like rain and racing. Though they would race in the rain at Elkhart Lake. So if you want rain, you, you go right ahead and you rain it up. All right. Let me put some sky blue in this picture. I'm not going to fill the whole sky, but I'm going to fill some of it. Look at that. Beautiful. You can also put some green trees in the background here if you want to. There's my cloud, looking good. There's my helicopter. I bet that helicopter has a beautiful view of this race car and this race track, don't you think? I've never been in a helicopter, have you? I've been in many airplanes, but no helicopters. All right, filling in the sky. Brandon Jones racing by. I'm making a rhyme, but I didn't mean to. All right, here we go. Very nice. I'm even going to put some blue in the window to make it look like it's clear and there's glass there. Even though it's actually plastic. It's a very tough plastic. I'm going to put some blue in the road. Just some swooshes. Just kind of ties the drawing together for me when you, when you add the same colors everywhere. That's what I think. Let's get some dark gray going on in the wheels. Oh yeah, looking good. Put some gray in the headlight too. There we go. And of course, some gray swooshes on the road. You should be getting good at swooshes by now. All the swooshes we do with racing to make these race cars go fast. Very nice. Brandon Jones screaming down the track. Hopefully only his car is screaming and he's not really screaming because that would be kind of crazy if the driver was screaming while he was driving. All right. Now how about some bright green because we got a lot of bright colors here. So I think we need some... Whoa, that's not green. That's gray. Woo! Glad I have the undo button there. There we go. Look at that. But where there's bright yellow, might as well put some bright green too, because this this is all about bright colors today with this Menards Supra. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put some green in the track here, maybe in the background a little bit. Now I'm going crazy with this green. Okay, okay. Gotta calm down with the green. All right. I think we need some brighter blue too. Now I'm I'm just I'm getting a little nuts here because. I see all the bright colors of this Menard Super, and I feel like we need bright everywhere. So I'm, I'm making some changes up here at the sky. Oh, yeah. Even some blue in the asphalt. Look at that. And just like that, Brandon Jones's Menards Supra has come to life on our pages. And it is looking good, if you ask me. I'm going to email this to Mr. Brandon Jones and see if he'll, he'll sign it for me. Looking good. Look at that. All right. I think that's it for me today. That's a great way to start the week with a race car drawing. Don't you agree? Well, make sure you show me yours. Post it in the comments or email it to webmaster at joegibbsracing.com and show me what you did. I'm going to sign this one. Put my name down in here. B-O-R-I-S 2020. That's the year. And that's the drawing. What do you think? 
How'd yours turn out? I'm going to read a few more comments just to see how you enjoyed today. And then we will call it a day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow at noon Eastern time. All right. Doug's out there. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate the compliment there. Donna Lee, thank you for that. I appreciate that compliment. Daniel's, Daniel, you got to get that shadow in there. I got mine in there. It's really skinny, but go ahead and put that shadow however you want in there. Thank you, everyone, for all this uh, for all this work and all this time. And Somebody asked what shirt I'm wearing. This is a Stranger Things shirt that my friend Jordan made, so Stranger Things show. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Y'all have a good day, and I'll catch you tomorrow.